Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see with the towel down there, it is, uh, I'm doing it more like a vlog style because it is a makeup declutter. And yeah, I filmed this quite a while ago. I just needed to film the outro and the intro, so here I am. Before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the button down there. It really helps me out in my channel. So yeah, let's get on with the video. I want to start by going over this one right here. I have, I've been trying to clear out my collection and just leave things that I'm actually using. I have these three compartments here, which to be honest, I've only just been putting in things that I don't reach out for a lot, but I actually want to start using again. I actually have the ColourPop kind of like rainbow collection here. I actually want to pick up the more pastel ones because um, I do want to have the kind of like the collection of these I really like that they're all like chromatic the first product I have here it's the um, Milani baked blush in the shade Dolce Dolce pink I mean it's it's way too pink for kind of like my taste I don't know if you guys can see that so I'm gonna put this one and pass it away to like a family member. So the next um, MAC blush I have here, it doesn't even have the name, it's like so old that it's already like rubbed off from the little like sticker. It's gonna be hard to focus this. Actually, I'm gonna throw this away because it's been pretty old and there's not a lot much in that one. I have a Ulta pressed setting powder here haven't used this in forever it's kind of like a yellow banana powder so I'm gonna just keep that in case I want to like start using it again the next I have one of my favorite ColourPop highlighters this is um, ColourPop Flexitarian and this is one of the most beautiful beautiful highlights you've ever seen and I'm gonna actually swatch it so you guys can see it and as you can see, it's super intense. I love this for my inner corner, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. I have a little sample from Too Faced right here. This is in the shade um, Love Hangover. I'm not even sure if they still make these, but I'm definitely gonna keep it. It's just super cute. So in this little container next, I have a Wet and Wild, this is actually new. I actually purchased it like two weeks ago. This is a uh, Wet and Wild New Blush, and this is in the shade Nudist. Society, which is right up my alley. I really like peachy toned blushes. Next one I have here, this is a MAC Nutcracker Sweet Copper Face Compact. This has the um, Whisper of Guilt highlighter with the Extra Dimension blush in the shade Pleasure Model. And, ooh, this is so old, but I'm not going to be throwing it away. Uh, but as you can see, this is uh, Whisper of Guilt, which is one of my favorite highlighters ever. It's like about to like fall and then this blush I actually need to use it more it is more of a terracotta um, shade I'm gonna swatch it right here as you guys can see it has more of a terracotta shade um, but I definitely really like it next I have this um, another wet and well product this is hello halo blushing highlighter so this blush right here it's way too glittery or not glittery but like it's too glowy for my taste it can be a definitely a um, blush topper because it ha it is so um, like glowy but this highlight right here let me show you guys I'm actually gonna swatch those two but and that is it right there there it's so pretty and then I'm gonna swatch the blush like I said it can definitely be a blush topper as you guys can see this next one here this is the makeup forever pro sculpting duo I I don't know how even old this is and it's completely broken because it used to be an actual highlighter and a bronzer I need to put this together because it is still good and I feel like it would be perfect for like summer so I just need to be really careful I'm gonna actually keep this one if you guys hear that noise I'm so sorry um, they're working on something outside my apartment I cannot the windows are already closed so we're gonna keep moving the next highlighter I have here this is the bomb Ma uh, Mary luminizer these highlighters were so popular back in the day and I'm still of course gonna keep mine and this is it right here it is a beautiful white pearly 
highlighter. I'm gonna swatch it. If you guys have never picked this up, I like it, but I actually actually really enjoy a much glowy highlighter. It's a very subtle highlight. You can definitely build it up, but I prefer much more like in your face highlight. Next, I have Milani Day Glow Luminescent Strobe Light. Um, and this is a Milani highlight, again, more golden. Those are the type of highlighters that I prefer. Um, this is much more um, gold, and I like it, I really like it, but I think I'm gonna just put it on the stack to give to my family, just because it is more on the peachy side and I like more golden highlights. Next, I have a oldie but a goodie. This is MAC Skin Finish in the shade, um, I don't even remember. The sticker is Reboth, but this used to be a super popular highlight and I'm blanking out right now. But this is it right here. It's much more pink than all my other highlights. It's a stunning bride. If you are gonna get married, I definitely recommend this one. This is the one that I wore on my wedding day because it gives you such a pretty kind of like glow from within. Definitely recommend it. I'm gonna look it up and definitely leave it on the um, description box. Next, I have another wild, uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, the shade Precious Petals. And again, this is more of a pinky highlight. Um, yeah, this is definitely a more peachy, peachy highlight. Um, definitely gonna pass along because I'm not into these like shades anymore, so I'm definitely gonna pass, pass it along. I have a Too Faced Love Light Ray of Light highlight. And I'm definitely keeping this. these. I have another one. I need to look for it. It's another um, little... It's probably right here. Uh, but yeah, I love these. It's oh, I love the packaging. I definitely love the packaging. So I'm definitely going to keep it. I mean, it would be an excellent like blush topper. Which I'm actually going to put it aside. Because I want to do kind of like a peachy tutorial. I'm going to definitely keep this one on the side for that. This is a Tarte blush in the shade Party, and I've actually, this is the, the only um, blush that I own from Tarte, and it is more of a mauve pink, so that is the blush right there. It is really, really gorgeous. I'm actually going to put it aside again so that I can use it more. The first product is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Matte Velvet Foundation. I actually did do a first impression on this foundation and I'll link it up here so you guys can watch it if you guys haven't but yeah I have actually did the first impression on the foundation as well as on the concealer so you can go ahead and watch it I'm also going to be leaving it down in the description box obviously keeping those and then the next one is an elf um, 16 hour concealer this is in the shade uh, light peach which is just a backup for um, the other one that I have which is one of my favorite concealers this is the Maybelline master prime um, Prime uh, Primer, <laughs> Blur, and Redness Control Pigments. I love this one when I have a lot of redness um, in my cheek area. It's just sometimes it gets out of control and I just need to prime with a little bit correcting primer. So I love this one right here. And now we're going to move on to my Colourpop stack, which I have. These are all eyeshadows, Colourpop eyeshadows. I have had these shadows for quite some time now. I don't use them, but... I didn't use them as often as I should. This is Lunch Money Highlighter. That is it right there. Lunch Money. And unless I said that I'm gonna like give it away, I'm just gonna put them to a side. This is a blush in the shade Between the Sheets. More of a terracotta um, shade as you guys can see. And I think I'm gonna throw this one away because I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like white around. So I'm gonna throw this one away. There's another blush in the shade uh, Cruel Intentions, and this is is this is actually brand new. And wow, that is really pretty. And I'm actually gonna keep this one. I just need to find the correct brush to use these with. Okay, so this one right here, it's called Quarters, and again, it's another like terracotta shade, and this is, would be perfect. For summer it has a little bit of a um, kind of like sheen to it um, I have another um, highlighter this is in the shade wisp and this was actually a like um, favorite on YouTube I love the highlighters because they are literally 
so soft. That is it right there. I have another highlighter. This is in the shade Smoking Whistles. And this is more of a pinky, corally um, shade. Okay, it comes off a little bit actually more lighter, which, wow, that is actually beautiful. I have Butterfly Beach, which is another highlight. Actually, this is a little bit darker as well. So that is it right there. I have the shade Monster. This is a highlighter. This is actually like what um, iridescent highlight. It has a pink undertone. So you guys can see that right away. The rest are all eyeshadows. So we're going to go ahead and start with this one. This is the shade Lovely. A lot of these eyeshadows are going to be completely... Um, discontinued i just checked ColourPop because i wanted to get the pastels like chromatic um i should have and they're gone so unfortunately oh this one fell off right out of the packaging um yeah unfortunately some of these eyeshadows are completely like um discontinued okay this one i've been like rubbing it but nothing's coming out so i'm gonna take i'm gonna throw this one away this second eyeshadow it's um, a super shock shadow and in the shade cricket and it is a um, definitely it's a purple but it has actually kind of like gold a little bit of a gold undertone so I'm gonna put this in a maybe because to be honest a lot of these like colors I I don't use anymore so I'm gonna put it on the side this one is Koosh and it fell out of the packaging and this is definitely a silver with a purple undertone um, again this one actually is already like dried millionaire and this is a kind of it's a brown uh, with maybe like copper undertone that is a beautiful shade actually the thing with um, super shock shadows from Colourpop is you definitely need to use your finger if you want to get much better payoff so this one right here is nearly in there the next one is the shade melrose and again it's another terracotta shade hopefully a lot of these are not like like this one's already dried up too yeah this next one is the shade bill and this is more of a um purple light purple shade That would actually be really pretty. It's a mauve purple, but it's kind of like drying out, so I'm just gonna throw it away. I have the shade Deluxe. Wow, that's so pretty. Right there. I'm keeping this one definitely. So this is Slay. Oh, this still works really well. That's actually a really cool eyeshadow. I'm gonna keep it. I have Doa Deer. Wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, this next one is called oh, that was this is an extra one. Shade Bill, but again, it literally just fell off the packaging. So just gonna throw it away. This is in the shade Hanky Panky. Oh, again fell off the packaging <laughs> and it's already dried up this next one is in the shade drift which is a beautiful uh, purple burgundy shade it's, it's super dry <laughs> this is weenie and I believe this one came in the quad for Kathleen lights it I think I'm gonna throw it away might keep it just for the name but it's so pretty but it's already getting dried up um, this next one is in the shade halo it's a cool it's a cool shade but I don't think I would use it so I'm gonna pass it along I have this is in the shade so quiche oh. mm, yeah kind of like grayish greenish with iridescent it, but I'm not gonna be reaching out to that one. I'm gonna put it aside. Next, I have Lala, which is a rose gold shade. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. 
It's a little bit dry, but I can definitely make that work. But look at that, it's so pretty. This is Rebel. Pretty, but definitely not a shade that I would reach out for. This is in the shade Crinkle, which is a blue, I don't know, it reminds me of a galaxy. <laughs> I mean, if I really rub my finger there, but it is super glittery, that I must say. Yeah, no, I'm gonna throw it away, it's really dried up. Wow, that's so pretty. Oh, yes. Oh my, I need to do a look with this shadow. Look at that. Wow, I I need to do, I need to put this on my eyes, like, right now. Um, next, I have DGAF. Yeah, it's a brown, but it's super dried up. So yeah, super dry. Next, I have lace, and this is a purple with a little bit of glitter, and that's the swatch right there. Next, I have 90210. See that? It, well, it's super dried. Yeah, it's super dried. <laughs> it's not even like swatching on me. Then I have mixed tape which it looks like a purple silver ish it's not that dry but I'm definitely gonna throw it away it's a pretty color I'm to be honest some of these eyeshadows I'm a little confused as to why I picked them up because they're not shadows that I would this is telepathy and I'm hoping this one works because that would be bomb on the lid um, it's a little dry yeah, it's definitely really dry, but look at that. That's such a cool shade. It actually reminds me of a shade that the um, So Jaded palette has. This is the shade Blaze. And this is all like broken. So it's that one right there. Next, I have um, Hustle. This is a matte shade. Reminds me um, of Central Park, actually. But it's already super dry this is in the shade um, I spy it's kind of dried up this next one is in the shade as if and if this is a um, this is definitely a light sh um, light brown shade but it is definitely a cool tone yeah it's really dry not even swatching okay so this is in the shade morning actually pretty next I have baby T and it's a sapphire blue you can see the blue on my finger but I'm not swatching so this is banded right here one of my first eyeshadows wow that's still I'm gonna keep this one because it's still working <laughs> this next one is called selfie working pretty nice reminds me a little bit of orange soda from Anastasia Beverly Hills this next one is called tinsel and it reminds me of like fairy fairies because it is so pretty definitely could keep in this one okay so this next one is called Porter and it's another one from the Kathleen lights um, quad yeah it's not even like swatching okay next I have crimper and I remember this used to be one of my favorite inner corner highlights there so on your face definitely keeping this one okay so this one is called Liberty and it's a baby blue shade oh yes wow I need to do a look with that that's ice that remind me of Elsa from Frozen this is this is party time this is a cool tone purple it's a cool shade I'm gonna keep that one this is another rose gold this is in the shade sequin Still beautiful so keeping this one I'm gonna go through these um, just quickly thank you guys so much for watching my makeup declutter I still have a few more things that I do need to need to declutter so please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe in a little bit down there and until then I'll see you guys on my next one Bye.